All right, gang, I, I came across these three Isettas by Process Plastic in the same week. Two different cells, the two white ones in one lot. It was listed as plastic car lot. And in the other one, the red one, it was a mixed lot. In the past, I did try to buy one of these off eBay, but the ones that sold that was in good shape sold for a little more than I wanted to pay for them. And I just gave up on getting one. Well, as I said, I got all these in the same week. And I couldn't believe it. The two white ones paid $5 for, and I think $3 shipping, so 8 bucks. And the red one, when I bought it, it was in a lot quantity of a bunch of other stuff that I really don't care about. And I think I paid 12 bucks for that entire lot. And it does have a, that one did have a crack in it. Uh, it was on the window post, but uh, it was on the curbside or passenger side. Now all three of them are complete. They all three have their steering wheels. However, the steering wheel in the red one is positioned a little bit differently than it is in the two white ones. I haven't cleaned any of these up. This is how I got them. The, the white ones are vibrant. The red one is in all good shape as well, other than the crack. All three doors, the hinges are not broke, and they, they're just basically was the hinge is molded into the plastic, and it's like a strap. And I'll, I'll show you how the door opens on one of them. I'm not year, sure the year these came out. I've never ridden in one. I'm talking about the year the the toy came out. I've never had a chance to ride in one. I think it would be pretty cool. There was a man in my community years ago that he had a lot of these little cars like this, like real ones, of course, and that he restored. He had a couple of Isettas and a Fiat's that were had the rear engine air-cooled. I can't remember what else he had, but his his garage, he stored them in, burned down. And the, the, for years, it, just the shells of the car sat there, and it was pretty sad to see. Now... I know these cars were built by BMW and I think they got really popular because of uh, I can't remember that show now some kid drove one in a show back in the 90's I'm sure they were even popular before then but that's when I started paying attention to them you know like really wanting to get some of these cars as to, to add to my collection so let me show you how the door operates all right, you see the door is open and the steering wheel is attached to the door as it is in the real car. Well, I'm sure, I think it's actually bolted to the floor and it swivels with the door. All right, there's a shot of the interior. I wish it wasn't red. I wish it was another color, but I wonder if you could put like a G.I. Joe figure in there or something. I might have to try that if I had a G.I. Joe figure. All right, and there's the rear of the car. Now we're looking at the road side of the car. And here's the undercarriage. Now I'm not sure the years these were sold by Process Plastic. I don't know if it was in the 60s or the 70s. But they're, they're just cool looking. I, I'm glad I got them for my collection. And I told you what I paid for them. You know, five bucks for the two white ones and twelve bucks for the red one. And I, and I, oh, I got to include the shipping. I can't remember what the shipping was on the red one. But uh, they they were just a good looking set of cars. And I kind of wonder with the, the two white ones at how vibrant they look and no scratches on them and all that. I wonder if this is old store stock because they are just look brand new the red one has wear but not that bad but these were sold by process plastics not sure of the years if you know the years let me know i really do like them and they are now a part of my collection guys i want to say thanks for viewing and enjoy your day